Hello, this is Nick from Pressman Auto doing a video walkthrough of our 2022 Subaru Ascent, the Onyx Edition. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk all the way around. We're going to check for any dents, scratches, any kind of blemishes on the outside. Then we're going to go on the inside and go over some of the features, make sure everything's working properly. And then finally, we'll pop the hood so we can evaluate a little bit in the engine bay. So first impressions, it's really freaking nice. <laughs> My manager, I actually had to take the keys from him. He's over there. Um, I had to take the keys from him because he was actually demoing this one, which is always a good sign. If the managers are demoing it, that means you you got good taste. So anyway, normally you'd expect to see a little bit of rock chipping up here in the front, but I'm not seeing any of that. Um, as he's been driving it, it needs a little bit of a bath, but other than that, very, very good stuff. So let's start going around and see what we can find. So if I do see any dents or scratches or anything, I'll be sure to stop, zoom in, get a good visual. But right now, it's just a lot of dirt on here. So that's nice. This is one small scratch on there. It's smaller than my thumb, but good to know nonetheless. It's actually, oh, actually, that's coming off. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I thought we had a scratch. So like I said, if there is anything on there, any kind of scratches or blemishes, any dents or whatever, I'll make sure you know, you get a good visual, but so far, not seeing anything. <clears throat> so I'll just pop in the trunk with the key fob. Oh, nice. Looks like you got all kinds of floor mats and stuff. You got the weather mats actually, that's, that's way cool. So other than that, your third row is down right now, so you got a ton of space back here. And then all the other seats in there. So we'll show you more about that in a sec. <clears throat> so we'll close the trunk up. One more thing that I did find, I didn't know this at the time, but this one actually does have the auto stop start feature. So that is awesome. The aftermarket piece was put on there. Who, the, whoever the previous owner was decided they really wanted it as well. So congratulations, you got that side of things covered as well. So. There is a small scratch right here in the back. Not too major, but good to know about nonetheless. <clears throat> All right, well, as far as the exterior goes, I give it a nine and a half out of 10. Um, this thing looks very, very clean. So let's hop inside, go over some of the features, make sure everything's working properly. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, obviously. <laughs> but when I do, I'm going to leave the camera up here on the dash. So if there's any kind of warning lights or anything weird popping up, you'll be the first to know. So let's check it out. All right. <clears throat> Looks like we've got one warning light up right now, which is my seatbelt light, which is correct. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Other than that, everything looks super, super solid. You could lose, use some gas, but other than that, pretty good. Let's cycle through everything real quick, just to make sure. Yeah, awesome stuff. Very cool. So as far as the interior goes, we're gonna kind of speed blitz things because this thing is decked out with a ton of cool features. So I don't wanna be here all day but you're gonna have a massive sunroof and moonroof all the way back there. This thing is freaking huge and it's sexy. I really like, okay, here's the thing. Sunroofs are not that useful. Like there's very few circumstances where you need a sunroof, but they're so cool. They're just one of those features that I think is a ton of fun. So that's really cool. As far as the back seats go, and all the seats, they look brand spanking new, which let's be honest, it's 2022, so they are brand spanking new. But fantastic condition, 10 out of 10 on the interior. That is really, really nice. And then the center console as well. So up here, you're going to have your lane departure and your pre-collision avoidance system. Over here, you're going to have your X mode and a couple other fun features, as well as all your plugins. You have an electronic parking brake, which is kind of fun. I like those. Um, you're also gonna have heated seats. Let's make sure the AC's working. Very much so, yes. That's awesome. So audio, let's check the audio. Oh. Okay, yeah, your audio is really loud. 
you have a very good speaker system. All right. As far as other features go, you can, I mean, to be totally honest, you can download whatever apps you want. So you can pretty much get whatever you like. But on it right now, you have the App Store where you can do that. You can also connect your phone and other th things for your media. And then you have maps on here as well, which is pretty helpful, let's be honest. So over here is going to be more of your driving features and a couple other bells and whistles. Um, I believe this one does have adaptive cruise control. Over here your blind spot monitor and a few other driving whatnots. You also have a heated steering wheel, which is working. Awesome, awesome. Let's double check, just dot our I's and cross our T's. Windows roll down, windows roll up, windows roll down, and windows roll up. Nice. Over here is where you control the mirrors. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, uh, like I said, I mean, we can go over features all day. There's all kinds of fun stuff in here. But for the sake of time, that should be good. So let's pop the hood. We'll evaluate a little bit in the engine bay, and then that should be good, dude. <clears throat> all right. So I don't know how mechanically inclined you are or aren't, but in either case, you should always, 100% of the time, look under the hood of any vehicle you're looking to buy. The reason being, even if you don't know anything about cars, you do know what neglect looks like. So if there's like acid buildup all around the battery, if there's rust all over in the metal pieces, if it's got like spider webs and junk on it, then maybe ask a couple more questions at that point. But that being said, this looks fire. This looks way, way good. Um, all the metal pieces look very well maintained. There's really not even dust on it. Battery looks brand new. So very, very good stuff in here. If you are mechanically inclined, we can go into a little bit more detail, but <laughs> we'll keep this video pretty user friendly for now. Suffice to say, when you pop the hood of an engine bay, this is exactly what you want to see. So if you have any other questions or there's anything else you'd like to see that I, that I didn't show you here, just let me know. I'm happy to show you anything on here. But for now, this is your new Ascent.